Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace yesterday the Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The National Guard Commander, General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The Minister of Defence, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Nuaimi. The head of the National Intelligence Agency, the NIA, Lieutenant General Adel bin Khalifa Al Fadl. The Chief of the Staff of Lieutenant General Dia bin Saga Al Nuaimi. The Chief of Public Security, Lieutenant General Tara Hassan Al Hassan. The National Guard Staff Director, Major General Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Saud Al Khalifa. And the head of the Strategic Security Agency, Sheikh Ahmed bin Abdulaziz Al Khalifa who extended to His Majesty the King sincere congratulations, marking the holy month of Ramadan. His Majesty exchanged with them Ramadan good wishes, wishing them many happy returns. His Majesty expressed appreciation of all affiliates of the armed forces and security bodies for their great efforts to protect national unity and achievements. His Majesty also praised their unrelenting efforts to combat the coronavirus pandemic and protect the health and safety of all. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for his dedicated humanitarian and national efforts in leading the Bahrain Task Force to deal with the pandemic. He praised the efforts of the medical and paramedical staff and the officials in charge of the national vaccination campaign to protect Bahrain and its people from the global pandemic. His Majesty also thanked the citizens and residents who have already taken the vaccine. His Majesty asked the audience to convey his greetings and Ramadan good wishes to all affiliates of the Bahrain Armed Forces and security bodies inside and outside the Kingdom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace yesterday the President of the Constitutional Court, Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Deputy President of the Supreme Judicial Council and President of the Court of Cassation, Chancellor Abdullah bin Hassan Al Bu'ainin and Attorney General uh, Dr Ali bin Fadl al Buenin, who extended to His Majesty the King heartfelt congratulations, marking the holy month of Ramadan. His Majesty exchanged with them Ramadan good wishes, wishing the Kingdom many happy returns. He commended the dedicated national efforts of Presidents of the Judicial Authorities to serve the nation and citizens and assume the responsibility of achieving justice and protecting people's rights according to the law. His Majesty underscored the key role played by the judicial branch in boosting the principles of justice, equality, rights and freedom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sophia Palace yesterday the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Sunni Endowment Council Chairman uh, Dr. Rashid bin Mohammed Al Hajri, and Jafari Endowment Council Chairman uh, Yusuf bin Saleh Al Saleh, who extended to His Majesty sincere congratulations, marking the holy month of Ramadan, wishing him continued good health and the Kingdom of Bahrain further growth and prosperity. The SCIA President expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his noble directives to open mosques for all five prayers, as well as Friday and Tarawiyah prayers in the holy month of Ramadan. He said the noble directives reflect His Majesty's keenness on providing a secure environment for citizens and residents to perform their religious rituals. His Majesty welcomed the guests and exchanged Ramadan good wishes with them, wishing all people in Bahrain many happy returns, as well as peace and security to the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty lauded the important role of the SCIA in serving Islam and promoting its teachings and precepts, which are based on moderation and renunciation of extremism and fanaticism. His Majesty praised the efforts of the Sunni and Jafari Endowment Councils for caring for houses of worship and supporting the national efforts to combat the coronavirus pandemic by urging citizens and residents to comply with the precautionary measures. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Health, a member of the National Task Force for Combating Coronavirus, Dr. Walid Al Mana, expressed the government's unrelenting follow up to protect citizens and residents from the coronavirus pandemic, wishing Bahrain success in fully recovering from it. 
He stressed that the kingdom has set a pioneering model in fighting the virus by taking preemptive steps and precautionary measures that helped deal successfully with the pandemic. Dr Almana urged the Bahraini society to take advantage of the holy month of Ramadan to change the patterns of social behaviours to curtail the spread of the virus. He underlined the need for full commitment to the decisions issued recently with regard to mainly Ramadan in order to curb the spread of the virus and protect the health and safety of all. The Health Ministry Under Secretary urged to continue the efforts during Ramadan to limit the spread of COVID-19. He also urged to show no laxity in taking the vaccine and avail of the precious opportunity offered in Bahrain, thanks to the directors of His Majesty the King to provide vaccines and healthcare free of charge for all citizens and residents to enable Bahrain to overcome the pandemic. He pointed out the Kingdom's tireless efforts to continue the national vaccination campaign for the safety of all. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 11,299 with 931 recoveries, 1,175 registered new cases and three deaths. 416 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 689 are contacts of active cases and 70 are travel related. The deceased were two male citizens aged 81 and 49 and a 60 year old male expatriate. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 578,085 have taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 430,661 had taken the second. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And to speak more in this regard, we are joined by the Chief Executive Officer of Primary Health Care Centres, Dr Jalila Al Sayed, who will elaborate on the role of the national vaccination campaign and the importance of committing to all precautionary measures, particularly during the holy month of Ramadan. I wish everyone a pleased Ramadan. It is extremely important to continue adhering to precautionary measures during the holy month of Ramadan. Safeguarding the health of citizens and residents remain our priority. The success of Team Bahrain efforts to defeat COVID-19 rely on the whole community, commitment and adhering to the official guidelines, particularly, particularly during the holy month. Iftar must be limited to close member in the, of the same household while upholding social distancing, refraining from organizing or attending Ramadan majlis or ghabga, refraining from hosting public iftar banquets, refraining from gurga'un and wida' gathering, refraining from public distribution of iftar packages. You can send these packages instead of distributing them on the road. Zakat al-fitr, uh, could be uh, sent through the electronic platform and application for collection and distribution of Zakat al-Fitr instead of Zakat al-Fitr Kayox. Also, it is very important to adhere to all precautionary measures because these are very important. Ensuring that vaccination received as very important step to uh, safeguard against uh, getting a complication of such disease, which is COVID-19, and to protect the beloved people. A vaccine is available in uh, all health centers uh, and also in uh, the exhibition center and Citra Mall according to the messages distributed and it is one of the important precautionary measures to combat COVID-19 and we, re we rely on you. It is a shared responsibility and everyone make a difference by stepping forward and taking its res their responsibility by protecting themselves and protecting the beloved by adhering to the social distancing, wearing masks, uh, hand washing and taking the vaccines and adhering to all the guidelines related to the holy Ramadan. And I wish you a please Ramadan and be safe. Thank you. Bahrain received an opportunity from finding partners of Space Hero to grant a ticket to travel to the International Space Station. This comes in recognition of the King of Bahrain's pioneering efforts in various fields, including space science. By offering any person from any background the chance to star in a global competition TV show and win a 10-day trip aboard the International Space Station, Space Hero is not only reinventing our perception of space travel, but expanding public access to it. 
For more information on this matter, founding partners of Space Hero, leading executives at Deborah Sass and Thomas Rimmer elaborate. Let us tell you a couple of minutes about Space Hero. It's a global competition show, casting show, giving away the biggest prize on television ever, a $55 million ticket for a 10-day stay on the International Space Station. Space Hero will democratize space travel. We will make it exciting, we will make it cool, and we will make it accessible to everybody. And how you guys watching this um, show right now, how you can enter is going to be all over the press. But right now, you can become an insider. Thank you very much, Bahrain Television, for uh, inviting us and giving us the opportunity to introduce Space Hero to your wonderful country. Uh, we appreciate the efforts of um, the National Space Science Agency that uh, you have set up. And uh, we like many, many, many of those initiatives because they are according and in line with the principles that we promote at Space Hero as well. This is about STEM, this is about women in STEM. We've seen that you have had events uh, in that regard, which is great. We see that you are uh, promoting science and a sustainable way of living on this planet for everybody. Because for us, understanding space means understanding Earth. And uh, this is the principle that we um, act by. We are looking forward to a strong cooperation with Bahrain, uh, which is leading in many, many fields of media, entertainment and technology. Just thinking of the Formula One races that you're doing, awesome stuff. And uh, we are looking forward to that cooperation. So how can you participate? Applications will officially open at the end of the year. It will be on an app and it will be free to everybody. It doesn't matter about your education, your health. As long as you have a mobile phone, you can apply to become a space hero. But so we can take insiders who are in every country. We already have 62 countries in our insider team. And those are the people that get to hear the news before anybody else. So please sign up and be an insider as soon as possible.